president has railed against this type of funding of elections. I mean, to read back to you what he did say in the State of the Union, I don't think American elections should be bankrolled by America's most powerful interests or worse, by foreign entities. They should be decided by the American people. Mm -hmm. With the president reversing course on this, does he look uh, hypocritical? Look, the president firmly believes uh, that the effects of the Citizens United decision were as he described uh, or predicted. And we are seeing that play out in many ways in the Republican primary process, which you all have covered or many of your colleagues have covered, with the uh, millions and millions of dollars being spent uh, almost entirely on negative advertising, uh, and much of it uh, completely undisclosed. So people, the American people don't have, let me, let me finish, the American people don't have uh, any idea who's backing that. So uh, the fact is, and I will point you to the comments I made in response to Ben's question about the efforts that this president has taken, that no president, no administration has taken before him, uh, the uh, principles that he adopts by not accepting any money from PACs or lobbyists, which distinguishes him from any of his potential Republican primary uh, general election opponents, uh, and his efforts towards uh, uh, to, to get Congress to pass uh, Disclosure Act and, and other measures that would enhance uh, uh, our, the transparency uh, of the process. So, again, it, it is an unfortunate situation, the President believes, uh, that we find ourselves in, where the rules are as they are. Uh, this decision was made, and I point you to the campaign statements that I've seen and you have seen about the fact that you, the rules being what they are, uh, the campaign has made clear that they cannot unilaterally disarm uh, in a circumstance like this. Uh, so we are taking the approach, the campaign's taking the approach that it's taking, and the president is taking the approach that he's taking. I mean, the president spent much of 2010 on the road ridiculing these groups. I mean, he joked about the name. They can call themselves anything like Moms for Motherhood. I mean, he, he really decried their influence in elections. And now he has signaled to his campaign that uh, he would like his donors to contribute as well. You indicated when asked about when the president made this decision, you said you could divine, um, you could divine that, and that clearly since he's made this in February 2012. So has the president been putting off this decision? Were you indicating that he's left it to so late in the game because he didn't want to have to do this? But since he's watched what's happened I in the Republican the, primary, I think the he's president. finally relented and said, "Right, the Republicans have so much money. I'm willing to." to give up on my principles because uh, well, look, so many you, you can you can throw in a lot of editorializations into your question uh, or you can just save them for your piece but the uh, but the fact of the matter is this president's views on citizen united uh, have not been uh, shrouded in secrecy they were what clearly you expressed you said could he waited I, well, hold on 2012 what did you mean well i, I simply was asked uh, why did he, uh, I can't remember the phrasing of the question, Does, did he spend a lot of time thinking about this? And I haven't asked him that question, but I think you can understand from the views that we, that he has expressed about the Citizens United decision and the impact of this, uh, of that decision on the process, uh, that he takes a dim view of it. The, but it is also the case, and again, I point you to the campaign here, and I think a lot of these questions are more aptly uh, addressed to the campaign, that, um, as the campaign has said, the rules are what they are. We will continue, the President will continue to change the rules. But the fact of the matter is, uh, not only is there not a constituency among Republicans in Congress to overturn or take, take action against Citizens United, uh, there is not even a constituency among Republicans in Congress to allow the American people to know who the donors are. They blocked the Disclose Act. So uh, that is the, the reality that we live in, and he will continue to press for change, and he will continue to press for change uh, even if it requires a constitutional amendment. I but we're asking a very simple question here, which is the president who has railed against these groups and this decision in his State of the mm -hmm. Union address and spent multiple times on the campaign trail in 2010 decrying this, has now changed his mind. And so this question is, when did he make uh, that decision to you, change you're his You're mind? misrepresenting what I've said, and I assume you uh, were in contact with the campaign. Uh, he has not changed his mind about uh, these, uh, the rules and the, the, for his public support for his own well, he's not party. supporting, he's not saying that the system is now, uh, 
healthy or good. He is saying uh, he is making a decision, his campaign is making a decision, that the rules are what they are, and it, they will not, uh, they cannot play by a different set of rules than Republicans are playing. But the situation, these groups are unfortunate. He gave a signal, and his campaign ignore. manager put out an email. When did the I, president signal to his campaign manager that it was okay to do that? Well, I think we just, uh, the campaign announced it today or yesterday. So the president gave a signal yesterday. Well, I was asked, if, that's, if this is the wind-up to asking me to precisely the moment that the president made this decision, I, I, I think I'll take that question as I indicated about 15 minutes ago. Yes, Juliana. 